G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a pour in um, my favourite colours, blues. Righty-o, because I haven't done one for a while, just in blues. And I uh, thought I'd have another go. Uh, but before I do that, I'll show you a couple of pours that are dry. Now, this one was one of the pearl ring pours that I did. So, all dry. Come up beautiful. Hope you can see the shine somewhere <laughs> in there. So yeah, that was really good. That was the um, 24K gold that created the pearls on the outside. I did a ring of gold and then did my ring pour in the middle and got that. So that was that one. And then the one that I did after that was this guy. And I actually poured a puddle of gold in the middle and then poured my uh, ring pour on top of that. I think that's what I did <laughs> from memory. <laughs> and um, I got more of the gold pearls because I didn't push so much of the gold off. So there you go. How pretty is that? Really love doing these. So when I have a little break from my flip cups, I'll do some more pearl pours for you. I'm going to give those to a, a coat of varnish. And then I, I know I showed you this one last video, but I'll show you this one again. It was a pearl and a cloud at the same time. So clouds in the middle, pearls on the outside. Really, really love that one. One of my favourite pores. Okay, back to flip cups. I'm going to do three flip and drags. Now my paint's been just sitting there while my phone was on charge, so I'll just check to make sure that they haven't thickened up. So all blues. Navy seems to be a bit thicker. I'm using my 65% glue and 35% water in this pour. So I've just gone equal amounts of all the paints, except for that little splash of water that you just saw there in the navy blue. And the black and the white have got 10 grams less paint. So they've each got 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint, except for the white and the black that's got 60 and 50. Well, actually I made less black. 50 and 40, I think it was, for the black. And it needs a bit of a splash too. So the blues, 60-60. The white, 60-50. And the black, I did 50-40 because I didn't want as much black. Okay, my usual. Spot on treadmill silicone, four cells. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. Three drops in each. And give them a good stir. Still feel a little bit thick. One, two, three, four. That one's got four seconds. I think they've thickened up a little bit while I went and waited for my phone to charge up. They'll still be okay. about okay now I've just so I've got a navy blue a mid blue and a light blue and then I've got black and white so that's 600 grams of mixed paint for this canvas today this is a 30 by 40 centimeter 12 by 16 inch a 
I do a lot on this size. I think it's a nice little size to, to um, do instructional videos on. Doesn't take too much paint. I'm not sure how the black's going to go next to that light blue, but I didn't want to put it next to the white. So it's next to the light blue. And I couldn't really put it next to the navy because, you know, they're too close. You wouldn't see either of them. They would just blend to a dark blur. Hopefully these ones will be all right. Actually, I might do that. Put white next and then these two next to each other. I think that's probably a better option. So this is Prussian blue that I've made. Well, I call it Prussian blue. I don't actually have any Prussian blue, so I don't know if it's the right colour or not, but because my cool blue is a transparent color, I've been trying to make it semi-transparent. So what I did was I mixed the cool blue with some cobalt, which was semi-transparent. And I also mixed in some black, which was opaque. Just trying to get the transparency away from being, you know, transparent. So hopefully it's more of the semi-transparent. Uh, just because I find that the transparents kind of separate and, and split. I think they just don't have a very strong pigment in them. You know, as the opaques do, obviously they have much more pigment in it. That's why they're opaque. Mm, I'm going to do that. I don't want the black next to the blue again, the light blue. So yeah, I think that that's just a weaker structure, not as highly pigmented. And if anything's going to split or separate, it'll be the transparent colours. So I'm trying not to paint with them. Or if I do, then, you know, add other colours to them to try and make them semi-transparent. A little bit of white left, so I'll just leave that. Love these colours together. I did a very similar pour to this oh, probably a year ago, I guess. It's standing over there looking at me. I'll go and get it. I'll show it to you in a minute. Let's flip these over and then I'll go and get it. It's actually one of my all-time favourite pours. Uh, back in the day when I was using... Um, I think it's my 321 mix. Oh, actually, no, the 321 half. Uh, three parts, if I can remember that long ago. What was it? Three parts flow troll, two parts glue, one part pouring medium, half part water from memory. This is it here. Love this painting. I could never part with it. It's like one of my all-time favourites. And I know I've got the little bubbles here from the Flow Troll because that's what Flow Troll does. But this is one of my first paintings where I thought, oh, wow, I can make cells <laughs> the way I want to make cells. So that was a big learning curve for me. That was like one of the first paintings I did that I went, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, happy with that. And you can see the tiny little bubbles along here, little bubbles. Those are from Flow Troll. That's why I basically stopped using Flow Troll because I didn't want those little bubbles in there. But I still really love that painting. So it's going back up there on the shelf. Let me smooth these over. I don't like it when I get those blobs. Um, now, I'll tell you the colours real quick. So that's the Prussian blue. I told you how I made that one up. I will at some stage do another video on making more colours. Just a matter of time. My um, light blue, light blue permanent to match Liquitex Basics, light blue permanent. My white, my black. And this is 
a mixture of cool blue and cobalt blue just to try and get the transparency a little bit higher so hopefully semi-transparent because that cool blue is um, a transparent color look at that I've covered my corners already woohoo any more <laughs> no <laughs> okay let's do this flip and drag Ooh, look at that blue <gasps> wowzers um, I might turn that one around and do the other way. Just to see if I get anything different. Oh, I haven't put my little marks on the bench. Let's see if I can get some black out of that one. Mm, not really. It's just a bit muddy. Uh, I'm getting these scales again. It's got to be the white. And um, I made up this light blue ages ago. It's probably got the old batch of white in it. Funny how you can turn your cup around and get a totally different colour. These two had more black in them, so I thought I'm just going to turn it around and see if I can get some of the other colours to come through. Okay, again, not happy with this. Oh, it's been driving me crazy all weekend. These weird looking cells. Oh, I just don't know. All right, let's get on with it. The usual. Back and forth, back and forth. To cover those triangles down there. And I want that to spread over. You can go over a little bit. Yes, you can. Okay. Turn you around, take the weight back to the middle a little bit, and then torch. This middle section hasn't got those um, scales. when I was using the black on the weekend, I was getting the scales. I just assumed it was the white, but maybe it's the white actually reacting with the black. Regardless, I don't like it. It's given me grief all weekend. I've wasted so many canvases, so much paint, scraping things because of this blooming, like the cells are blooming. It's just bizarre. Bizarre. So again, I'm not going to have a nice painting because of this scaly effect. I just don't understand why it's doing it all of a sudden. Like it's been fine for the last year, and all of a sudden it's doing this. It's really upsetting. No wasting so much paint. Because this could have been a really, really stunning painting if that wasn't there. It's so upsetting. Look at it. Scales. Scales, more scales. Oh, 
Right, wipe my hands off. Where'd my tool go? Oh, there it is. Let's fix up these corners. The colours I love. Got a beautiful blend of light blue, navy, white, sort of grey, blue, grey, and then into the navy again. So they're really pretty colours. It's just such a shame about those scales. And I, I just, I don't know what to do about them. Seems to only happen when I mix the black and the white together. Well, not together, but in a pool. Like this. Got black in here and white in here. Uh, let's take a bit of that. That looks pretty. Very small little cells, aren't they? I guess my mix was a bit on the thick side. Well, if I can maybe just stretch everything out just a little bit, just to make them a bit bigger. What do you think? Let's see if I can do that. Just very carefully, walking, walking down. So I can get rid of that big blob over there stretch everything out yep off you go thanks for coming thanks for going okay that's better obviously my mix is a little bit too thick because my cells are so small but there we go got my nice stripey kind of background Got a little bit of white through there, which is nice. I don't usually get that, so that's really pretty, I think. Hmm. I mean, as I said, the colours are really, really pretty. Happy with the colours. Um, yeah. Just those scales. Now, take these gloves off. I want to show you i get them off without getting my hands too dirty. Um, now this painting I did, this was only like a week or two ago, that painting. That was for the, um, the challenge, the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook, the challenge. Now, there was no scales in that pour. It was just beautiful cells. Um, I used white. Yes, I've got a little bit of the splitting of the paint from the navy. Always happens with the navy. But no scales. So that's it there. Um, you know, previous pours where I've done blues and greens and the white, no scales. But as soon as I put the black in, I get the scales. Um, this one, it's like show and tell. This, this is also one of my all-time favourites. Love these colours, the blues and the greens with the brown and the cream. I actually had cream and white in that one. I think that's, is that red oxide? Might be red oxide. Um, again, no scales. It's only happening when I do black and white together. And do you guys remember this pour? This was supposed to be the waterfall pour. This was the, the first time that I realised that there was a problem with the black or the white or, or one of them. I think it's a combination. Now, these are just plain black, white and gold. There's no cloud making um, ingredient in those. And you can see what the the white's done. And it's like it's reacted with the black. So, okay. It's taken me all weekend, but I think I've realised that until...
we get this issue fixed. Um, I can't put black and white in a painting because um, it's going to do that. Hmm. I don't know why. Okay, let me take you down. Colours are just gorgeous in this. Really, really like them. Come around the table. Look at that. It looks as if they're floating there, those cells in that dark area. So I don't know if that's black or whether that's navy. A bit of both, maybe. See, the cells... Well, the colour that's made the scales is that light blue. See there? And over here as well. It's the light blue that's done it. I bet you that light blue's got the old white in it. Uh, Global did fix their problem with their white. They sent out, they sent me new, new bottles of white, but I think that light blue's obviously been made with the old white so I've actually that's the last I've, I've used it all this um there it is that sort of pale bluey color there um, I think that's the culprit the white that's doing that must be an old batch of white but apart from that it's really pretty isn't it very nice love the colors okay um I think that's it now. I've done quite a few pours today. And um, I'll clean up and get organised for my workshop tomorrow. And I won't let any of the ladies use black and white together in the same pour. <laughs> no way. Yeah, all the other pours are great if you don't add those two colours together. Not a problem. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.